Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. President Trump in New Orleans right now, just hours after speaking to a large crowd in Hackberry. The president vowing to make the U.S. the leader in energy in the energy sector with the help of Sanford Cameron's LNG export for export terminal. Our Jim Hummel was in Cameron Parish today with our top story and details on the president's speech. Marcel, the streets of Hackberry much calmer tonight after today's visit by President Trump. President Trump was enthusiastically welcomed at Sempra Energy's Cameron LNG facility. Construction is still ongoing, but coinciding with the president's visit, the facility produced its first drop of LNG. That LNG could be exported across the world in a matter of weeks. The president is hoping this facility can be an example of energy independence here in the United States. We are independent. We don't need anybody. We don't need anybody. And we don't need to be ripped off by the rest of the world either, because those days are over. And worth pointing out something that was missing from the president's speech, any mention of those Chinese tariffs. As we've been reporting in the past few months, those tariffs are having a strong economic impact on farmers in Acadiana. In Hackberry, covering the president, Jim Hummel, KTC TV3. Before the president even landed, dozens of people waited patiently at the airport to greet him. Our Chris Welty continues our team coverage from Lake Charles. Chris. President Trump was greeted with lots of cheers here at Chennault Air Force Base in Lake Charles. The crowd chanting USA as the president made his way to greet them. USA! USA! Dozens of VIP guests greeting President Trump with a warm welcome as he stepped off Air Force One. People in the crowd wearing Make America Great Again hats, waving posters, and snapping selfies with the president. How cool was this for you to see the president? It was actually very cool because it's actually once in a lifetime that I've actually seen a celebrity. Cameron Ashley is a student in the Lake Charles Big Brothers Big Sisters program. Over the last few days, he's been telling his friends he'd meet the president. They don't believe me, though. But now you have proof. You can show them that photo. That's why I want to print it out. <laughs> Those we spoke with say President Trump was really taking his time meeting and greeting with people as soon as he got off Air Force One. I think people uh, don't realize how personable he is, that he really does like people, is really interested in people, and he cares what's going on in the U.S. He cares about what's happening to the regular person. Cindy Dore is from Lafayette. This is the third president she's met. I have met George W. Bush and George H. Bush. This was just fantastic to see the president come in on Air Force One. Magnificent, awesome, and we're excited about 2020. Governor John Bell Edwards was not here to greet President Trump. He's at a National Association of Governors conference in Shreveport. The governor did say, though, this is an exciting time for Louisiana, citing the highest employment increase in the nation. In Lake Charles, Chris Welty, KTC TV3. While police officers escorting President Trump were involved in a crash on I-210 today, according to Reuters, the president's limo was not affected. Three Louisiana officers were taken to the hospital with minor to severe injuries. Here's Rob's 24-hour forecast.